Patrick, congratulations through to, well, this team's through to a third consecutive grand final. Um, what did you make of the performance, especially, I guess, the character to come back from a goal down? Yeah, I think, you know, um, it was two teams, they tried, again, playing as hard as they can to get into a grand final, you know. Um, yeah, it was, again, that for me, it's the, the character that we showed today um, for 120 minutes. You know, so look, it, it was great. But you know, when I look at the the game overall, you know, there's areas that we need to improve on. Um, but I thought it was a, a well fought, hard game between uh, two teams. Obviously, you can see that a freak goal came from nowhere. But obviously, you guys were behind. How pleased were you with the response? Because you know, you guys were able to fight back and at least force extra time. How pleased were you with that? Yeah, well, you either go two ways, don't you? You either collapse and you know. Let things just be what you know be, and or you you know you show fight, and I, I thought we did that. Um, and again, you know, a, as the game got on, and as extra time, I thought you know, we showed some uh, the absurdity, you know, to try and uh, score again. Um, uh, but that's what happens in, in finals. Sometimes, you know, goals like that go in, and they did, and you know. But it was good to see that you know our players had the character to keep fighting um, and, and come back especially at a, in a game like this. You mentioned there were some things you wanted to see improved on going into obviously next week. What are some of those things, I guess, that you weren't too happy with today? Oh, not that I wasn't happy. Um, you know, I, I think the first half, we, you know, we could have played a bit more. But again, look, again, the, the game's fresh in my mind. I need to actually probably have a, have a look and you know, maybe I'm talking a bit more with emotion than you know, actually seeing the game properly. But um, look, I think the first half we need to improve on in certain areas. Um, but I was pleased with the response after half time, um, even though they did score uh, a goal, you know, after half time. Marco said in his presser in the lead up to this that um, he was confident you had the players who could step up, I guess, and stand up and be counted in the big moments. He obviously did that. Jamie McLaren did that. How pleasing is it to see some of these players, I guess, hit their, hit their straps and find these moments at the right time? Yeah, look, I don't think it was just Marco. You know, I thought, uh, you know, Griff you know, made a, a great. Um, impact on the game, you know, same with Collar, um, you know, the guys that come on uh, in the subs, you know, they really made an impact and I, I thought they changed the game, so it, it's great to see. All Melbourne grand final next week, obviously against Western United, I mean, I guess just your first impressions of, of what that, that's going to deliver. Yeah, I don't know, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, look, you know, uh, from my point of view, I don't like, speak on my behalf, it's, you know, great um, that we, you know, we can play at home, you know, um, and it's a great achievement by the players. But again, there's so much work and so much to be done, you know, before then. That grand final obviously will be Western United's first in their history, something they're not necessarily experienced with. Whereas for you, it's your third consecutive. You've obviously won one, lost one. Does that give you a, a mental edge going into a, a game like that against Western? Uh, uh, no, really, it's it's 90 plus minutes. Um, there's two teams, you know, a, again competing. Um, you know, look, again, uh, I, I don't think so. I, I don't, in my personal opinion, I, I don't. In the day, it's uh, 11 players going out there to play as hard as they can. It does put you on the verge of some history. You would be the first um, A Leagues team to complete or well, back-to-back doubles, Premiership, Championship, Premiership, Championship. I mean. I know you don't like to get ahead of yourself, but it, it must be exciting to be, I guess, on that sort of verge of completing something really special again. Uh, not really. I don't, like I said, I, I don't really think about stuff like that, honestly. Um, yeah, I'm just concentrating on tomorrow's training um, and see how everyone pulls up and yeah, take it one, one step at a time. And how's Flo? I mean, he got through 58 minutes. Was that a planned thing for him to play just an hour or was he just a little bit, you know, was it just something you saw in the game and you wanted to bring Marco on at that time? You know, I think it was a bit of both. You know, Florin has been out for a, a, a quite a while. Um, you know, it wasn't intended for him to play the 90 minutes. Um, so, look, I, I, I made the call and, you know, a, 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 again, I just went with my gut and it was around the time he was sort of going to come off anyway. So, you know, it, it worked out in both ways. And just on Matt Leckie, he's a player who obviously copped a lot of criticism, I think, at the start of the season and you were patient with him and told us he, he will take time and he's really come into his own really in the last few months and today was so heavily involved, played more centrally and physically as well, he looked really up to it. How have you seen his season and what he's been able to bring to the side? Yeah, like I said, when you guys were, were criticising him, I said, you know, I didn't really care and it, and it takes time. Um, and there's still a long, long time to go, you know, so again, he's progressing 
um, you know, day in, day out, and I'm, and I'm happy for him. Just on that as well, the influence that he had really seemed to uh, up the ante in the second half, particularly playing centrally as well. Was that something that happened deliberately that you saw that was going to be more in the second half to, to break the game open, or just generally what did you make of just the way he played in that second half, which changed no, the game? No, we know we can sort of play inside as well, so it was um, a scenario where, you know, I wanted to do it, um, and, and I did it, you know, and we brought obviously Mark on, and obviously we, we had Griff on for Terra, so... You know, just a, a, um, an option that I know that you know he can play, and and we did that. Just another qu a, qu a question on the team as a whole. We know that your team are known for their fitness and their intensity with which they can play. And at the end of the ninety, it's one-one. You've come home pretty strong. Were you confident that your boys had the legs to run over the top of Adelaide? Yeah, it, I trained my team one way, and that's it. Um, but also, you've got to understand it's not just physically, it's mentally. Um, and I think they showed both tonight. Patrick, it's a much broader sort of question, this one. Given um, the resources City have got, given the money, you're rightly or wrongly, even in the salary cap league, you're always seen as the money bags team. We always know there's pressure, whatever the game is, but do you feel that that really does impact or is it something that you're able to create a bubble around and insulate the players and the entire club from when the games are on? Uh, you, you talk about money and how whether, like you said, Eddie, number one, it is a salary cap league. You know, pre-season we trained on a football pitch. So you talk about money, but look at the facilities here that a team uses. Um, West United, they train out of Essendon. So we might have financial backing in the whole group, you know, but it doesn't mean anything. You know, we, we are building a facility, but we want to do that to improve our club and our academy and our, you know, our juniors. We want to improve Australian football. You know, uh, Western, Western Sydney at the moment, currently, they've got a better training facility than us. So does that mean they're richer or not? Uh, I don't think it's... Uh, Again, when, when you say that, you say because maybe we're backed by the CFG, but when you look at it, it's completely different to what you're saying. But I guess it's perception and reality yeah, and, well, the, and all the rest of it. But, do, you know, you were talking when all the... Every time you're asked about not having beaten a top four team, which you've now managed to do, um, that it was disrespectful of the club and their achievements. Do you feel in some ways that your achievements are underestimated because of the perception that it's City and they should finish top two anyway? Uh, look, I think the difference between my expectation and maybe your guys' expectation uh, is completely different. Um, we're a football club. <laughs> That's it, you know, it, you know. Just because you know we, we want to um, improve the game in Australia, it, it shouldn't be like one of those things, oh, they have money. Uh, for me, it, it's ridiculous. And, and you know, when, when I look at the, the, the broader picture, we want to improve the game. We want our kids to keep coming in and playing like the uh, the, the bosses, the raffers, you know. Um, so when we implement better infrastructure, it doesn't go into the cap. It, it doesn't improve uh, the squad. It helps the whole club in general. Um, and, and that's what we do. And again, yeah, I don't know why people say it when a group is trying to help this game in Australia. You know, I I I think it's the easiest one to say oh, they've got money, but really, well, I think we're all the same. To be honest with you, I think we're all the same. You know, again, salary cap league, everyone spends the same money. It's that you know we we uh, we take real pride on our infrastructure and we want to improve the game in Australia and imp and improve our club. You know, that's it. Just one last one, PK. I mean, just on Jamie McLaren, I mean, right place, right time. Striker's instinct, good finish in the end as well. I guess just a comment on his performance tonight as well and just him, you know, what he's been able to do over this period. Yeah, I think what, what, I, work, what I liked most besides the goal was, you know, his work rate and his intensity and his intent. For me, that was uh, that was the most pleasing, you know, and then, you know, he got rewarded with a goal. You know, but I was, imp I was impressed with his intent um, and his intensity in the game.